when it comes to transforming a data query editor is our best friend in this video we will see how the query editor actually looks like we will connect the data and we will see some of the important options that we can use in query editor to transform our data and to make it in a good shape so for that we need to connect to a data i will go to get data and i will connect to a text or csv let's say in this case i want to connect to uh, adventure works sales 2015 i can just connect to this and i can click on open as you know it will show me a pop-up like this and this time we will not load this data but we will go to transform data if we click on transform data it will straightly take us to the query editor as you can see on top it is it says power query editor so this is our power query editor where we do all the changes in our data let's start from the beginning so at the beginning you will see a home tab and in the home tab you will see some options like new source if you want to connect to a new source data you can connect from here recent sources the recent sources that you have connected to you can enter a data manually and you can do some data source setting let's say if you want to change a data source or something you can do it from here and there are so many other options that we will see eventually in this course let me quickly give you an update about this right hand side what this says so as you see when i loaded this data it directly showed me some of the steps that have been already applied by power bi so what are these steps so these steps are the first one if i click on the first one you will see this is the source file and it looked like this so the our column names were like column one column two which is not right correct so what we need to do we need to take this thing in the column name so power bi if i go to the promoted header section you will see power bi has automatically done this for us now if i if we click on change type you will see that power bi has changed some of the data types in this data so what it has done as you can see for this order number forget about this order date and stock date right now just look on the uh, look at this order number which is a text right we have s we have o so this is a text and how we know this is a text you can see abc abc refers for text now if i see this one product key the product key is basically one two three that means power bi has identified it as a whole number same for the customer key same for the territory key and order line item and you will be able to see the order quantity in whole number as well now you want to change some let's say you want to change something manually let's say i want to change this this is currently the order date is currently in text and i want to change it to a date so i will just click on this abc and you will see that which data source i want to connect to. sorry my bad which data type i want to select so for order date i will select date in here so if i select date it is showing me either i can replace the current or i can add it as a new step so what i will do i will add it as a new step and you will see a new step will be added and the order date will be now in date format same we can do for the stock date i can click on this and i can click on date so these are some basic um, you know transformations that we can do in power bi and we will see the other options in our later sections now let me quickly tell you what this thing is this is a m query that power bi does for us automatically so let's say if i now click on the right click on this data and if i go to advanced editor you will be seeing here some codes right and these codes are called m query and for this course you don't need to learn m query at all power bi does this m query thing on his own we will be just selecting all the options and power bi will be writing the m query for us right now next up we have transform so in this transformation pane there will be many options so if you want to group this data and again this all of these options i mean all of these important options we will see later in this course and for this course this is just for the sake of understanding how this 
uh, UI looks like, how this interface looks like. Okay, so th in this transform pane, we have a detect data type which is really helpful. So if you want Power BI to detect a data type, you can just click on a column and you can say Power BI look, just detect my data type. What is the data type that this column has? This thing Power BI, uh, Power BI can do. And then if you want to transpose, if you want to reverse some rows, you can do that. Now, let's say if I want to see what is my count of rows, I will just click on this and Power BI will show me what is the count of rows. And on the right hand side, you will be able to see the one new step has been added, which is count rows. For this, for just to show you, I will just delete this thing and you can see I'm back to the previous one. So remember one thing, if you change anything in this, in this query editor, there is no undo option. All you need to do, you have to delete the steps from here. So you remember I have changed the stock date and order date data type. So what I can do, I will just delete this part and you will see that they are like previous in text format. Okay. So in the transform pane, you can do many transformations. So the extract, this is also a nice option. So if you want to extract first character, last character, you can do that. If you want to split a column, you can do it here. If you want to format something, let's say I want to uh, make this, you know, in an uppercase or lowercase, or I want to capitalize each word, I can do it here. And accordingly, Power BI will write M query in the background. Let's go to the add column option. In the add column, you can add columns in this data. Let's say you want to uh, create a column that is derived from this column. Let's say from this order date, I want to just take the year, the last four characters. So you can just create a custom column and you can do that easily. You can extract. So you see, in the transform pane, we had similar option like extract. And in this add column, we have a similar option like extract. So what this two differs, you can here only you can select first character, last character. And in here, if you come, the, all the options are same. So what is the difference? The difference is in the transform, if you extract something from this column, this column will be changed itself. So let me quickly show you. Let's say from this order date, I want to extract the last four characters. So I will select the last characters and I will click, I will uh, select, let's say four, last four characters and I will click on OK. So you see the order date column itself has changed. But if I do it by going to add column, if I go to add column and if I now extract, let's say the last ca four characters, so if I click on four and if I click on OK, so you see a new column will be added and the column name is automatically given. You can change it if you want. So this is automatically added. Now, let me show you a, a beautiful thing about this Power BI. So now I have only the last four characters from order date. So what I can do, I will click on this and I will tell Power BI, I will ask Power BI to change this data type automatically for me. So I will click on this and I will click on detect data type and you see the beauty of Power BI. Power BI recognizes the data type and it changes the data type accordingly. So that's it for this video and we will see many options in our later sections.